The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he uh, confuses the shit out of listeners on this show because <laughs> they think he's either a straight guy or a black guy. He is the funniest homosexual comedian I've ever met. Please welcome Mr. J.P. He didn't say the only one. <laughs> <laughs> No, I've got a guy that I actually been in uh, contact with. He's, I bet you have. He, he's Congratulations. From, he's from the New York City area, and he's going to be traveling through, so I'm, we uh, may have him on. Fantastic. Right. Maybe I he's, doubt it. Is may- he gay, too? He is well, gay, Well, then too. you're not going to have him on the show. Uh, <laughs> it'd be, you, nah, it'd man. Be, you yeah. don't want your house fucked up uh, like that. That's true. I could take that night off. You could have three gay guys here. <laughs> <laughs> work out perfect. Great. Actually, I'm in for that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you are. Uh, but also, he is another excellent stand-up comedian. Uh, he is the 2021 funniest person in Wichita, Kansas, none other than the wreck himself, Mr. Derek Alders. Bam. Listen to that crowd. Yeah. There, there funny. is. Funny. There. funny, nobody ever cheers for me. There is no mm. Derek, only Zool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's awesome. He is the, I'm he's, the key master. He's the creator <laughs> of the new. I hope you're the gatekeeper. <laughs> <laughs> he's the creator of the new hit single that has yet to come out, which is Little Ass Dick. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, I got bars. <laughs> I got bars. <laughs> there was so many comments of that. got bars on bars. Uh-huh. It's like, this was straight fire. <laughs> Somebody tagged Little Dicky in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, what the fuck? Oh, that's fucking great. But anyways, yeah, we've got an excellent show this week. Um, We've got a lot of uh, playoff football to go over. We've got, uh, you know, the normal stuff, the overrated, underrated. Google this, questions, preguntas, and as always, a draft, and knock it all off with that shitty situation at the end. Uh, But before we get into all of that stuff, we're going to get into what happened to us over the last week. Uh, And as always, uh, we call that the week, week recap. Uh, JP, let's kick it off, dude. Awesome, man. I had a great week. It sounded like you did. I did, man. I really yeah. did. I uh, bowled twice again. Nice. Because that's what cool people do. Uh, <laughs> or gay people do. Yeah, whatever. Whatever, <laughs> man. Uh, I went to the casino. Yeah? Yeah, man. Play cards or? Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I played cards. I played some. Did you play blackjack? They don't have poker anymore. No, I played uh, Texas Hold'em. The ultimate Texas Hold'em? The ultimate Hold'em? Texas Hold'em. Yeah. Which you, if you're not lucky on right away. Just stop playing. Uh-huh. If you're hitting, stay on it, hit it hard, and then get out. Play every it's, hand. It's hard. Yeah, you play, every play hand. almost. Every Is it like hand. a slot machine poker deal? No, no it's a table. It's, game. You get. Oh. I don't want to explain it to you because okay. you're not that smart and take too long. That's totally true. I dealt um, it at the casino yeah, for a little bit. Yeah, it's yeah. it's Yikes. cool. It's cool. Um, I lost my ass. I didn't make any money playing poker or anything like that, but I walked out of there with almost a thousand dollars. What? How'd you do well, he, that? Well, he walked in with two thousand. Yeah, uh, so that's how I walked <laughs> out. No, with almost no, 1, I walked in with three hundred. Oh, it was okay. Seven hundred dollars. Then what'd you hit? I was there for six hours, and most of it was in the bathroom. Oh, nice. oh that's I'm good. telling you what, at five fifty a pop. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that's a lot of blood jobs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I got it done in six hours. Yeah, yeah. Part, part-time work, no so, insurance though. Yeah. Hours are kind of oh, shitty. Couple Couple of were the table, couple were the table minimum. Yeah, table yeah. minimum. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Oh, they just flip you that one chip mm-hmm. and they laugh and laugh. That's yeah. right. That's it's, right. But you do what you got to do. Uh, but no, seriously, um, we had some comments over the over the weekend on that. Uh, uh, I think a couple TikToks, but apparently people thought you were a black guy. Yeah, yeah, they did. They did. One guy even went as far to say, "I thought he'd be more muscular." I'd like, s- hey man. I'm not muscular enough for you. <laughs> like, come on, man. I don't know. I'd say I'm I'd say you're pretty, you're pretty shredded, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, am. Yeah. I got like a three-pack. Yeah, that, that'll work. 
clearly that guy cannot see JP is in white face. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a little loud. <laughs> oh, God. I hate the way you do this to my people. <laughs> well, your people suck. <laughs> Anything else you do that was fun? Not really. Not really? No. I okay. told you, man, I don't really do a whole lot. I know you don't. I bet you smoked a lot of weed. Though. I did. Okay. That, but of that's, course. That's fine. That's, of course I did. Of course. Why wouldn't you? Um, it makes everything better. It's like bacon. Yeah. Uh, how about you, Derek? What would uh, what'd you do over the last week, weekend? Uh, well, I went to a funeral. That's always fun. Yep. Way to, way to lighten the load on this show. Yeah, well, no I know, man. It, it, uh, it should have been you. Oh, um, thanks. <laughs> there it is. That, <laughs> that's what he put on the card. <laughs> should have been Scotty. <laughs> that, yeah, that's how I signed the yeah. guest book. He went, yeah. up, he went up during his visit. Anybody has anything they'd like to say? <laughs> I brought my own picture of Scotty to put on the casket. <laughs> yeah, on the, just so I could have something evil. to jerk off to later. Yeah. Uh, well, congratulations on getting a load out. That's, <laughs> yeah. I know it's been a while. Yeah, yeah so I did that, and then uh, went to uh, went to lunch with my wife after the funeral, and then I decided uh, what I wanted to do was something I haven't got to do in a long time, mm-hmm. uh, troll in person. Oh. That is the best. Yeah. I went to a uh, local sports bar here, Emerson Biggins. Oh, fun. Uh, that was standing room only. <gasps> and I cheered for the Jaguars like a motherfucker. Yeah, awesome. baby. That is like Unfortunately, my... you didn't cheer hard enough. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I know. But, oh, I man, can't believe. Yeah, that would have been fun. Doing that in person and watching everybody else sitting at my table just like. What Cringe. We cannot. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, awesome. What was the best, I think, is they had a rerun from SmackDown on there. And my buddy Toby is who I met up there. My wife and I met uh, my buddy Toby, her buddy. I met her through him. He's a good dude. He's funny. He's a very, very big dude. Uh, Muscular? Just, no, just like he. <laughs> you would see that dude as a fucking bouncer somewhere. Like Got he's it. a big, burly fucking dude. See, man? And All big, burly dudes don't have to be, like, ripped. Uh, no. Yeah, right. No, he's a, I wouldn't fuck with him. I wouldn't. Eat, I would. <laughs> and uh, so I, uh, he, he actually, I got him to ask the bartender because he comes there like every day. So no matter what, even if it's full, he has a table yeah, that has a reserve sign on it that nobody can sit at. That's fucking dope. So uh, we get sad at we're all there's like seven of us standing around this table, and they finally find a bigger table that we get to migrate to, and uh, migrate. That's what we did. We migrated, <laughs> and uh, I see on the little TV that they got WWE on. <laughs> and they got they got the Chiefs, of course, on like all five yeah. big screens, and the sound and everything going. And JP asked goes up, or not JP Toby goes up and asks the uh, the bartender. I said, "Hey, you should ask her if she'll change it to the WWE on the big screen, <laughs> put the sound on." It's like the beginning of the third quarter. <laughs> she changes the small TV uh, off of fucking WWE to like fucking I don't know what it was. <laughs> And so I was like, oh, they fucking, she took it off the WWE. It was a rerun of SmackDown. <laughs> so I'm like, she took it off that TV. And he goes, hang on a minute. I know the manager. And he goes, and he gets the manager, and he has the manager at least put the WWE back on the small TV. I didn't even want to watch it. I just thought it would be funny to ask. <laughs> like, hey, can you change this playoff game to uh, this rerun of SmackDown? Yeah. So then I'm watching the game Sunday night, and he randomly texts me, and he goes, WWE SmackDown results. Kevin Owens lays out the bloodline by himself ahead of the 2023 <laughs> Royal Rumble. In case you, I'm like, how do you know this shit? You don't even watch it. <laughs> so I had a fucking blast hanging out with him. He's a good dude. That's he's good. hysterical. So that's good. He kept looking over at me, going, "I'm not. I, I can't take all these fucking. You got to quiet down." <laughs> uh, well, you should have. You should have been the one to get your ass whipped. And that was now. that was right. I got there in time to watch KU get blown out by fucking twenty two. Oh, so I'm like, yeah, twenty four. We'll get there. It was fantastic. It was. Did you do anything else that was actually worthwhile? I uh, spent the next day very hungover. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> but goddamn, did I have a good time? That's fucking awesome. That's good that you do that. Um, I had a fucking excellent, excellent week. Um, well, I had, that pisses me off. I did. I had an excellent. Keep laughing, asshole. Week. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> we gotta go. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I, I got. An, I had an excellent fucking week. Um, I uh, I'm, well, put it this way. I unfortunately, I I get all of my uh, snowboard gear from a place here in no, town. Not the snowboard. Oh, yeah. again. again with the again snowboard. With the yeah. snowboard I'm, shit. I'm almost ready. Okay. God. <sighs> damn. No, I, I wish you would just fucking go already. I'm trying to hit I a would. tree and die. I yeah. may move out there and never come back. Please That's do. fine too. 
too. But that also means you'll never have a show again. Oh, uh, or, we, oh or we'll get our God. own show. And <laughs> it's okay. Even better. All right. Yeah. Uh, but no, uh, they they ended up, and it's a great place. It's an excellent place here, here in Wichita. Everybody there is fucking cool. But uh, I they ordered, have to be. There's no mountains here. I know that's the only place around. <laughs> Please, yeah. for the love of Christ, buy our snowboard. <laughs> we have no mountains in Kansas. You want to go um, snowboard at the? I'll jump? tell you behind my jeep. <laughs> oh, they do it the right way. They schedule trips and stuff like that, and bus tours to go to cool mountains. What and place stuff. is this? Uh, the slope. Yeah, the, it is cool. Yeah, they're uh, awesome people. They really are really cool people. And um, and it was it was unfortunate because I ordered my uh, snowboard boots, and they have to be very specific to because the they're bindings. bindings. Yeah, they're binding. Right? The binding, and, the whole yeah. binding thing. <laughs> Again. Anyways, it turns out that they order direct from the manufacturer because that's how they make a profit. They get a wholesale price. For sure. And so that makes perfect sense. Well, it turns out that I probably wouldn't get the boots from them on time for my trip. So I end up having to re- get a refund for my money and order them through Amazon and I'll have them in four days. And that just kind of sucks because I really appreciate that store. I buy it all my other shit well, there. Well, if you but appreciate it, push your fucking trip back a week. You yeah, I can't, can't kind of do that. Yeah, that's, you, can, that's you can prepare even more for it. Think how yeah. much more you could prepare. That's almost, it's already in Maybe you should have got your boots a long time ago. Uh, no, uh, but no, uh, it is also coming up. It's not. I don't think bindings were invented a long time ago. That's true. They yeah. must be new. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but no. As much as we talk about Not them. this like year. Six. Not <laughs> this year, but next year is uh, me and my wife's 10 uh, year anniversary. Oh, All congratulations. Right. So I'm pretty man. pumped with that. So that we've, cool. we've started looking for places to go. And, the, and you know, like Derek. I, I goes, think I know the perfect spot. Mexico? No, binding factory. You yeah. take, go to binding a, factory. take the tour. <laughs> yeah. you'll, get a, you'll get a free binding at the end. Uh-huh. It'll Absolutely. be awesome. No, Scotty, go to Tijuana. Make sure you wave a gun around. It'll be a great time. I'm sure, I'm sure she's into bindage. Yeah, right. Yeah, she is. Uh, no, but uh, she is actually talking me into going to, like, the ski resorts that are on the other side of the mountain of in Colorado. What the about the ones on the other side of Derek, the world? Derek, Derek, <laughs> no. it's the other side of the mountain. I'm it, so excited. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. Fuck, what away. is your problem, I'm man? so excited. I want to move there. That's what Please we, do. Yeah, like, no. for real, man, I will cost, fucking help cost, you. Cost Don't ever sucks. pizza. French fry the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> you can't pizza or French fry or on French a snowboard, fry. buddy. Get two um, snowboards. They're called skis. They're dickhead. called skis. Yeah. You can rent them. Yeah, uh, you can. I bet you can get bindings on them. Yeah. yeah. I think they're self-binding as well. Yeah, they kind of are. Uh, but no, I uh, I have also been um, not wanting to watch a particular show on HBO because I have to binge shows that are supposed to be really good. And that is The Last of Us. Have, have you seen it I at all? I haven't seen any of it. Okay. I, I played the game and it was fucking Never phenom- played the it game. was fucking phenomenal. But now they have a show on HBO and they're doing the HBO thing, which is releasing. I heard an it was episode. phenomenal. Yes, and and they're releasing an episode every week, which pisses people like me off because I want to watch and binge the whole thing. So don't spoil it for me, you fuckers. I'm not even going to watch it. I haven't watched it yet, but I'm going to go home and research it, and I'm going to tell you (laughs) everything about it the next time. I've already played the the game. It's the same thing. So I know what's happening. So what do you mean, don't spoil it? I read the book, but Uh, I mean. But you know, the movie could be different. It could be different, exactly. Uh, but last but not they least, they might not actually like the alert. green eggs and ham. I Spoiler don't alert: It's just somebody playing the game the whole right. time. <laughs> yeah, it's right. a guy just live just streaming live on streaming Twitch. The game. So I was way behind on the times. Apparently, I guess like today is. The yeah, first. you're just now getting bindings. Yeah, yeah no it's kidding. True. Yeah, uh, but no, I uh, this today was the first time I really have gotten on Facebook for quite a while. And I found out there was this like uh, police scandal in uh, some county where some chick like oh let the, the chick that fucked the whole department yeah that girl I <laughs> love that girl no oh I not love as much her. as the rest of the department that's though. exactly no. right yeah oh I was so jealous oh. I never wanted to be a cop so bad in all my life <laughs> <laughs> so, something tells oh. me that they probably wouldn't want to go after you though JP well if I was her obviously they would okay well. That's fucked up. Like it was like eight. Is dudes? it so? Kind of. She was. Have like, you ever worked in the restaurant industry? Yeah. Exactly. That's what I said. <laughs> Have you never same fucking thing. worked at an Applebee's, bro? Yeah. Same thing. <laughs> Sometimes in the same night. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I, for sure. This was like on government property slash well, in the cop good car. For I mean, them. if you're gonna do it and you're good on duty, good for them. One of my the old car. one of my old clerks from uh, the convenience store that I worked at. Yeah. Um, was it Dante? She used to fuck a lot oh, of cops. Damn, oh, that. really? Yeah, she would. They, oh. they would come pick her up, and then fucking drop her back off. Oh, perfect. Yeah, she was awesome. That's that's. She uh, was my favorite clerk ooh. ever. Uh, that's great. I lived vicariously through her for uh, a lot of nights. I'm sure you did. 
Uh, but last but not li- uh, last but not least, I did want to give a shout out. Uh, we've got some listeners uh, that that uh, message us. They've been longtime listeners, um, uh, Callie and and Peyton Blakely. Uh, they have a GoFundMe that's up, and it's it's for something that is serious. They are trying to have a baby. It's uh, the uh, why? I God. why the fuck would you want to have a baby? They are different than we are, Derek. They want They're a kid. They're very different than I am. Yeah. <laughs> because, um, try and try yeah. again. Yeah. I'll be damned if I can figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> We're not trying to fucking raise money for them, and they've been using the wrong hole the whole time. <laughs> right. Oh, oh. Try putting it in the front, <laughs> yeah. dumbass. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Uh, but no, their uh, their handle for their their GoFundMe is uh, Blakely Once a Baby, which is B L A K L E Y Once a Baby. So if you do uh, have have a That's little Blakey, huh? Well, you said Blakey here. Be- no, you? Blakely. Oh, well, you missed. No, it. no. It's, is it, it Blackie? Is that what you had? You <laughs> racist <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, I did at the very end. Blackie Once yeah. a Baby. It didn't catch it. Uh, but no, it's uh, that's because you type blacky a lot on your <laughs> no. computer. Uh, there's it's missing it's missing the C. You're so like no. I hate this customer that goddamn. <laughs> oh, no, that's bad. <laughs> and I'm like, watch it. But anyways, Blakely wants a baby, uh, or yeah, Blakely Blakely wants a baby. <laughs> you're you're getting me close to accidentally saying. <laughs> yeah, it. Uh, we so know how you are. Them, uh, yeah, dude. Obviously, it's all coming out tonight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for their uh, INF stuff. So if you have- IVF. Did I, what did I say? I am. Oh, sorry. IV stuff. Anyways, IVF. Okay, cool. Uh, but that was my week, and uh, that's uh, all I got. Um, but we got a big show. Why to can't get to. they have a baby? I'm not asking any questions. No, I, I want to, because if I can help. What are you going to do? Farting or puss? <laughs> that's, that's exactly what I was going to do. <laughs> yeah, just. It might work. Meef. You're going to meef? Meef right in there. Yeah, meef it. All right. Mm-hmm. Sometimes that's what you got to do, Scott. I guess. I uh, wouldn't know. That's that the, the Chinese couple a while, what a year or two ago that they they went to the doctor because they couldn't get pregnant and then found out he was putting it in her asshole. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a true goddamn story. <laughs> that's why I'm like, hang on a minute. Yeah, let's figure this yeah. out. Let's make sure you're. Maybe doing we it right. can do this without donating money. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, just send us some pictures. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm just yeah. kidding. Don't. I'll do need that. to see some things. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> just let us know that you're doing it right. Send us a video. So yeah. we can just make. I sure. just really want to analyze everything <laughs> you're doing. Well, well, we'll edit them and put them on TikTok. Mm. Talk for and, sure and take uh, everybody's comments and see if you're doing it right absolutely uh but no we got some uh, some sports to get to but before we do that we want to give a shout out to our sponsor which is manscaped.com they make excellent products they even have a new beard grooming product so you can go to manscaped.com and check that out but uh their flagship product would be the lawnmower 4.0 it is a trimmer for your ball sack uh, your dick and your asshole. That is very important, right, JP? It's it really depends, man, what you're into. But some guys, some guys want it hairy, and some guys want it shaven. Per, I mean, personally, I just I stay ready. You know <laughs> okay. what I mean? Because Manscapes our sponsor, and I know. Yeah. You know, I I stay ready. I use the ball toner. I use yeah. The, I use everything. I even use the ball toner on my face a little bit, just just yeah. on the cheekbones. Yeah, just tightens right. everything up. Sure. Uh, but they have, uh, it, I mean, it is a great product. It has, it comes with its own docking station. You know a lot of about course, that. Of course, I JP. know about docking. Uh huh. And uh, an adjustable LED light, which is an upgrade <laughs> to the. Yeah, you got to be. Which, a, when shit. I was younger, I would have appreciated. <laughs> yeah. Is that right? It's like the snake light when you're. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The kind of light <laughs> that likes to roll around. I'm a snake light. That thing. Uh huh. <laughs> Uh, but they have other products like the the weed whacker. They have the manicure kit that Jeremy loves. I like the adjustable light because whenever I'm shaving my balls, my dad can still work on the car. Oh, which is yeah. great. That's that's nice. Which is that's, great. That's great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Try it now. <laughs> <laughs> but go check them out at manscaped.com. Use the promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off of your order and free shipping. That helps you out, helps us out, and lets Manscaped know we are doing all of these commercials word for word. Let's blow through this, baby. Let's get into the sports. We've got some awesome sports news. We've already mentioned it. But it's been a good last couple of days for Derek and myself, and even JP, for that matter. And it is uh, it is safe to say, at least, that Jeremy and uh, – or, sorry, Jeremy, uh, Derek and myself are two very petty individuals. Do not confuse me with royalty. I, I know. Um, you called me Jeremy. Yeah, I know. That's I know. true. <laughs> uh, but we are both very petty people, and uh, we don't give a fuck. KU basketball team loses to K State, then loses at home, shattering a uh, 
a uh, winning streak at home that was mm-hmm. still active. I think it was 17 games. And they lost to TCU. Then they go on the road. Uh, they didn't lose to TCU. They got the they shit got kicked out of them. Out. Decimated. Yeah, they did. It, it was, was awesome. It was so bad. I was excited to watch because I DVR the news every night because I'm <laughs> fucking old, you know? Yeah. And I'm like, ah. you do. I want to fucking watch the news. I'm like, you know what? I'm actually going to watch sports because I want to see them cover this. And they covered the Chiefs game. They covered K State winning by ten. No KU coverage yeah. whatsoever. Perfect. I didn't. You wouldn't have known. No they way. Are you serious? Nothing. Mm-mm. Nothing at all. No score. No, nothing. Well. And I was like, God damn! Now that is an ass whooping. Yep. That, that game is, was over plenty cool. early. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. But then they end up going uh, on the road uh, to Waco and lost to Baylor as well. So instead of having a uh, current winning streak, uh, they now have a current losing streak, and that makes me really fucking happy. Three in a row. So the points where this is where Derek and myself become internet trolls to all you KU fans out there. So suck it. I just say rock chalk and whatever team beat the piss out of them. Is <laughs> Every right. time. And it's yeah. so fun. Oh, I, fun. I I shared memes to all kinds of people that said, you know, it's a great day in uh, in Kansas when KU basketball is not the best basketball team in Kansas. Oh, yeah. It's, K-State's ranked above them. They are. And uh, they, look, they look good. Yeah. So we'll see. Uh, but moving on, yeah, we got to get to the uh, the big deal, I guess. Over the weekend, we had some NFL playoffs, and we had some some games that I don't know, guys. I <sighs> there's it was uh, it was sad. Some it made of me them sad. Just the only the only game I even cared about. The only I've got no fucking dog in this fight. I know you know. I'm a Denver fan. Yeah, you won't have a so dog in the, the fight for only, a while. Yeah, the only thing that makes me happy about football anymore is when the Chiefs lose. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, God, there was a chance. There was a chance. I mean, they really, they probably, they probably should have. Uh, they, I mean, they oh, could have, but yeah. I don't know. Sucked. I was actually very impressed with Trevor Lawrence. Um, excuse me. After the game, whenever uh, the game was over, he waited in the tunnel and and uh, you know shook the hands and gave hugs of all of his players and stuff like that. Yeah, that was way cool. Yeah, That's way he's cool. Like Waffle House, Waffle House. Yeah, Waffle House. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Waffle House. Waffle House. Um, but yeah, and I'm I'm in the same boat as all all of you guys. I'm I'm rooting against the Chiefs as well. Look, I uh, hate, I just I, can't, I don't like I love Patrick Mahomes. I do too. I'm a Mahomes fan. I hate his I was, fucking family though. I was really super happy that you know he was able to fight through what he fought through, and I hope he's better. I hope he plays because I want it to be a good game. I do I want, too. I don't want them to have an excuse. Oh, Patrick Mahomes was hurt, and mm-hmm. that's why we lost to the Bengals. Because I really. Really, just want the Bengals to just destroy I mean, them, murder them, I and they too. could, they and look, they should. They look great against Buffalo in yeah, the they snow. Did. They in look the fucking snow. great How's in their own nobody. elements, out of nowhere. I mean, they look. Every play was better than the last. They looked phenomenal. I was just getting ready to get to that. Um, Josh you, Allen. Oh, before you do. The thing I hate about Mahomes is how bad fucking Chris Collins where it verbally fellates that fucking guy. Oh, he's taking the place of Aaron oh, Rodgers. Oh my god. I don't think anyone will take Aaron's place. I don't know. But I think it's their sister wives. <laughs> okay. I, think, I mean okay. <laughs> their sister oh, wives. My fucking god. Yeah, he, yeah. Uh, Chris Collinsworth is oh, cringy. He is pretty at cringy. The, at the yeah. best. Yeah. At best. He threw that fucking ball that slipped out of his hands in the dirt. And, oh, my God, what an amazing play by Mahomes. Now, here's a guy. He just knows to throw the ball in the dirt. You dumb fuck. He tried to clutch it back. <laughs> One time I heard him say, he's only 5'7", but he plays like he's 6'3". <laughs> well, I mean, some people. I That's play. a fucking very specific. Uh, he was yeah. a lineman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, but, no, yeah, moving on to the, the Buffalo Bills game. Um, I, I gotta say, I I was pulling for the Cincinnati Bengals in this game myself. Um, just, but I I was just because they're fucking three and zero against Chiefs. Yeah, that's the only reason I was going for the Bengals uh, is because I, I think they had the better shot at beating the Chiefs. I didn't really care who won. I would be happy with either one, but because the uh, Buffalo's got to get rid of their coaching staff. They got to do something. They have to. I, they're the. It, that's been proven and proven. Same, same, the Buffalo coaching staff is like the Cowboys quarterback and running back. They've both proven Don't to you. Don't get ahead of yourself. They've both proven to you they can't do it. 
They yeah. can't do it. They can't do it. They can't do it. Ugh. Sooner or later, you got to fix the problem. And well, the problem the, is here's here's the thing. I think it's actually not just. It's not that. I really don't think it's. Oh, the they've had horrible stuff. coaching. They lost Dable. Um. Yeah. They're, yeah. I'm talking head coach. They're. They it's lo- been horrible. Yeah, but they lost their offensive coordinator mm-hmm. in the Giants, and they they. I feel like that took them a step back a little bit. I think it's it's. I think they're relying so much on Josh Allen to do everything. I mean, look at their running game. Devin Singletary, Naeem Hines, really? I mean, they have they they could definitely go well, out. They got and get James something. Cook. Oh. Cook's not bad. Okay, uh huh. That's Dalvin Cook's fucking brother, and uh, he's come along at the end of the season. James great. Cook is not bad. Great, but I, I guess you should watch a football game. Then. No, I do. But oh but man, you guys should fight. You got you <laughs> hit him. You have what actually occurred in the game, which was Josh Allen didn't look that great. He he really just didn't. It was also dumping snow. It's, I mean. Joe Burrow didn't seem to have very much of a problem. That's what was impressive to me. Okay. Yeah. But I'm just saying, I think, and Stefan Diggs is now fucking pissed. He cleaned mm-hmm. out his fucking locker room. I mean. The whole locker room? No, the locker, oh, his locker okay. in the locker room, sorry. But I I, I see some shit of flying in the offseason possibly here in, in Buffalo yeah, uh, because man. they have high ex- high expectations. I Obviously, you build around Josh Allen. But Which I don't what understand. Do do? What? How does Buffalo have high expectations after what they've been through, going to four or five Super Bowls, what, three of them in a row, and losing, every, losing one every one of them? Of them yeah. Your expectations have got to, at some point, be like, well, we're never going to get yeah, there. Yeah, but that was <laughs> like years and years ago. I get it. Now they actually take control over their division. There's no more Tom Brady there. They should be the number one team in that division, and they should be in the NFC or sorry, the AFC championship every single year, and they didn't mm, get there. You're not giving year. the AFC enough credit. Well, I like I like the Bills more than I like the Chiefs uh, personally, but uh, the Chiefs and the Bengals are both hundred percent better teams. I, I didn't the say that they that the Bills are better. I'm you saying said they I like should, them. You said they should go to the AFC Championship. They should and win it every year. No, I just just to go, just to go, just to go. Okay, I'm with you there. Yeah, uh, but yeah, but they lost. They did lose. Uh, but the question I was going to ask: uh, there was even some ESPN sports analysts that are actually comparing Josh Allen being more compatible with a Kirk Cousins quarterback. Not even fucking possible. Don't even stoop that fucking low. That, that's just ridiculous. He is. He. I mean, if you get the top five quarterbacks in the league, if you leave Josh Allen, Allen out of there, I, I would put him in the top five. For sure. If they so. wouldn't have canceled that game and Cincinnati would have won, would this game have been played in Cincinnati? I think, isn't that the case? Had they what? not have canceled the Buffalo-Cincinnati game and Cincinnati wins what, that game? When, yeah, I think they think, would I think this week they'd be playing in Cincinnati instead of playing in Kansas City. Actually, I don't. Well, yeah. I'm not sure, but, but I don't know. Because Cincinnati won the head-to-head, so if they would have had the same record, then yeah. it, it would be in Cincinnati. Okay. Hmm. But it uh, no, actually no. I, I tell you, I tell you what. It actually would have been uh, Buffalo. But if Buffalo, not Buffalo, I'm talking about if Cincinnati would have beat Buffalo, Buffalo and Kansas City would have had the same record, and then that's why there was a neutral site. But with Cincinnati, the Chiefs actually had the had, had the be- they had them, a better right? record yeah. than them. Did yeah. They? yeah, yeah. Or else they would have had a neutral site game for them too, as right. well as Buffalo. So that wouldn't make. Any sense? I could be. Yeah, you could yeah. be right. So, 14, yeah, because they would have been thirteen and four. Right, exactly. So, um, but uh, next game, which um, probably is is my favorite game of the of the week, San Francisco 49ers end up beating the Dallas Cowboys, <laughs> and it was an embarrassment. They both look like crap. I, I, I Tony Pollard. Oh man. my God, Tony Pollard goes down. You're done uh, because that's the only person on your team. That, broke that's, he broke his leg, yeah. and he's yeah. going to be a free agent next year. Like yeah. that's the shittiest thing. He's going into free yeah. agency with a broken Here. fucking leg. I, I yeah. don't. I don't know. I think it's probably a decent thing for him. He's going to go to a team where they're going to they're going to make him They'll a star. Use him. Yep. But it cost him yep. money. It, it I, I guarantee you, coming no. off a broken leg, it's going to cost you some. Money. Oh, for sure. Maybe for yeah. sure he's not. Oh, for sure it is. They because they they're taking a chance at that point. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they're gonna watch him work out, and they're gonna make. I mean, they're they're not gonna invest that much money into somebody that they're not at least fairly confident can do the job. But you can't control if he gets hit again in the same exact spot or right. the same exact way, and it yeah. just pops back. You know, mm-hmm. and now you're probably talking about maybe even a career-ending energy. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, injury. Yeah, I. 
I, you I, always have to consider that. I think with, that I still think that he's in a in a decent spot to go to a team. That, oh, he'll get that he'll is, get a good contract. He'll go to a good and team, he'll and go he'll a, go to a team that needs him. Yeah, that will use him, and that exactly. will yeah, for and that, sure. And that's what I'm kind of excited because yeah. out of all of the players that have played for the Dallas Cowboys, he's oh, the he's awesome. only fucking he's one awesome. I like. It was utterly ridiculous. Maher, the kicker for Dallas. Oh my god! And you know what? You can say all fucking day long that that kick uh, for that extra point kick was blocked. It, it doesn't was, matter. It, it was, was no going good. They to even be no good. Even the even they even the announcers were like, if you take a look at this angle, you can tell he was going to miss it anyway. <laughs> I was like, the dude, shit out of they it. had they had no reason to do that other than hey, let's fucking pile it on this piece <laughs> of shit. You know what I mean? Here's like, the, here's the worst <laughs> part about that game. Is had Dallas went down and t- and scored a touchdown with time expiring on the clock, extra point ties the game. Oh yeah, Can what you, do you, you go do? for two? You have to go. What for do two. you do? Like that it was we missed out on perhaps didn't the they best. hire a kicker? They did, but he stayed and he. I don't think he didn't. They didn't break bring the team. him. No, no. Like at that, well, that point, was a mistake. That is the. Best Dude, decision been, in football all year. You yeah. get to see somebody has to make that that's fucking decision. That's cool. That would have been cool. That's You're right. That would have been awesome. Yeah, that's McCarthy's job if he makes the wrong yeah, call. That's, yeah, that's like, that what do you awesome. fucking do? I was he's so probably, pissed. You know, looking at it that way, he's probably like, fuck, thank God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank God we lost like we lost. <laughs> yeah. Cause it's I might like, still keep my job. Oh, imagine they just do some miracle lateral play and get down there and score. And then it's like, all right. And Dallas was within <laughs> one. And Mars just like, Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> and and McCarthy's like, fuck! <laughs> like, oh god! But did you see the last play? The last offensive play Dallas That's made. Terrible. What the fuck are you doing, McCarthy? Like I get you need to set your guys up in positions to lateral and shit, but a, a six yard dump over the middle Dude, to it like a guy Zeke that's got surrounded flattened, <laughs> bro. Oh yeah, I mean fucking flattened. What the fuck play was yeah, that? I don't know. The dumbest shit in the world. Oh. Uh, it, it it uh, it, but it was it glorious. Was a glorious train wreck. It is was what a that game glorious, was, man. glorious train wreck. So so now we kind of have an idea. Now that we know that Pollard is is probably going to be moved. Um, what do you think they do with somebody like Dak? Well, be, well, they're going to keep him, and I'll tell you why. Did you, did you not see the press conference where he said he was going to get better? And he, yeah, that, and he said he was also going to take a pay cut. I don't. Necessarily. Well, he said he was going to get better three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> True. I don't. And hmm. yeah, yeah. I don't necessarily know. I think Pollard might stay, and they just might move Zeke to center. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> that's the that's, way to go. Yeah. He's, he's shown that's some. The way. He's, he's shown, shown some, some very talent. good promise. Uh-huh. <laughs> Big promise. Yeah. Well, it, okay. So let's say let's say um, Zeke takes a pretty decent pay cut, so they could keep Pollard and him around. Because as a one-two punch, they are very good together. If they right? keep Pollard, they gotta get rid of Zeke. No, if they keep Pollard, I just think you make him the number one, put Zeke the number two. But I you, don't think you can do that. You I don't split carries. You yeah, that, 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 I mean, I get that, but I don't think that Zeke is gonna go for that. Uh, he might. No he, way, man. His ego's way too big. It is, but you know, way too big. The person who I think you actually try don't to want to be traded, it'll be a big. Yeah, the, you can't do that. The person I think you need to try to concentrate on getting rid of is actually Dak Prescott. I, oh, for sure. I, I am tired. Three of, years ago. Yeah, um, he has a total of two playoff oh, wins in his entire career, and with one of the best offenses in the entire NFL. It's just like he can't. I mean, he just can't chokes he, yeah. every fucking year, and you've got yeah. guys that are pissed off at him because that's that's his offense. He runs it, and every single. But what do time. you think? Do you think the 49ers looked that great? I think that the 49ers went up against one of the better defenses that they had gone up to, gone up against up until that point. I think the Eagles are going to destroy them. We'll get to that here in a second. Yeah. The 49ers have a great defense, so they're the best defense <sighs> in the league. Yeah. Yeah, they do. <clears throat> but yeah. it'll be a great game. Yeah. It, 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 it is going to be yeah. a great game. Hopefully, uh, I, it's the game that I thought I was going to get with fucking Buffalo and Cincinnati. <laughs> yeah, because we did not get uh, that. No, God. we didn't. Uh, but the, the 49ers have also already announced that Brock Purdy is their guy. Is their dude. And I yep. think that's the right thing to do. He has, well, I think it's what, 8 0? He hasn't lost a game. Uh, he's like so, 5 0. 5 0. Because oh. Garoppolo won three of those. Okay. And now supposedly Garoppolo might be able to come back for the Super Bowl if they make the Super Bowl. Why would you do that? I'm just saying it was uh, announced that he might be able to come back for the Super Bowl. That's because how much happen. are they playing paying Garoppolo? Yeah, and yeah. how much are they playing 
pay him pretty. <laughs> nice. Yeah, but up. if you can get, God damn, if you I, can win I a Super Bowl with Garoppolo and then yeah. trade him, Super Bowl winning quarterback. No, I don't know. That's so that's so shitty to a guy that got you there. It is, well, I it's mean, so it is, they but that's his job. Got him there. Yeah. That's his job. He knows if Garoppolo's healthy that he's going to come back. I don't think you could consider Trey Lance getting you anywhere in the season this year. Not Lance, Garoppolo. Okay, Garoppolo but you said all so. of them did, and that oh, well, they all me. did. They all kind of got – I mean, they all were starters, so, I, I mean, they all got them there. Was, but Garoppolo started that winning streak. Yeah, he did, and I, I agree with that. But Trey Lance was a was I a just like show. to say Garoppolo. Uh-huh. <laughs> So now we got the playoff predictions. Now you currently are sitting with the Kansas City Chiefs at home oh, against the Cincinnati Bengals. Please, please. If there's a God, <laughs> <laughs> I just want him to just hurt him so bad. <laughs> I don't want him to get hurt. No, no, just their feelings okay. and their dreams and just okay. crush it into one little ball and then stick it up their ass and <laughs> wait for it to melt. And that, then, that's a good thing for you. Oh. Um, no, I, um, I, I'm kind of with you. I hope it's an excellent, excellent game, but somehow on the last second on a miracle fucking play that Joe Burrow throws a game-winning yeah. touchdown or a game-winning field goal or something that just crushes which, Chief fans. Which would be awesome, but I think it would crush them more just to get just destroyed because they think they're so good and they're not. Leave, leave it to me. No, a close, a close uh, loss is much better than a blowout loss. 100%. Hundred percent of the time. I don't know. I like a blowout loss I do too. too. Like KU getting blown out by fucking was twenty-one. Way better than them. Is way yeah. better. Than well, yeah, we're rooting for we're rooting for that. Yeah, yeah. But, but I, I I don't know. I just that's just my opinion, I guess. Uh, but I'm taking I'm taking the uh, the Bengals. How about you, uh, Derek? Bengals. You're taking the Bengals, and of course, JP. Don't even have to ask. It's a clean sweep. I'm the worst son because we're the. My bi- mom is the biggest <laughs> Chiefs fan <laughs> ever. We are so biased on this show. <laughs> Good lord! That's why I hate him so much. Because growing up, I would root for whoever were pl- was playing the Chiefs because oh, yeah. she's such a big Chiefs fan. It gave us, you know, something to root for or whatever. Sure. And that's why I hate the Chiefs. My mom loves the Chiefs so much. I hate them. Well, it makes makes perfect sense. Um, but uh, so now the next game, you've got. I'm the, a mama's boy. I'm sure you are. You got the San Francisco 49ers at the Philadelphia Eagles. Who oh. you got? Eagles. Okay, Derek. I don't even think it's close. I'm going to take San Francisco. Really? I, I believe in that defense. Oh, man. And Philadelphia's not defense. Stop Philly. I think Philadelphia's defense is actually also better than Dallas's defense. I think it's going to be very close, but I also think that Philadelphia's offense is just so fucking powerful. Dude, they're dynamic. They are so they, good. They I mean, are so good. That is the game that we haven't even talked about because they just beat the living shit out of the New York Giants. Oh, yeah. And so, and it, I hope that that's the way that the Bengals do the Chiefs. Okay, <laughs> that's fair enough. Exactly. Um, that would be so awesome. So that's the playoffs, but we also have already started uh, hearing – talks and rumors about players that are possibly getting traded and one of them is mr aaron Rodgers being traded out of green bay have you heard about this uh, he ain't going anywhere nobody wants his contract actually um they the and it's i mean if somebody will pick up russell wilson it's it's <laughs> it's actually very close and it sounds like they are very open to this happening and guess where he is they are they're talking about him going the jets you goddamn right he because do it. they've got lots of uh, uh draft they have a picks. Lot of power yeah, already yeah they have a lot to build on already so it's definitely one of those things that they could i don't do. think he plays if he doesn't play in green bay do you think he follows brett Favre's footsteps and hamstrings <sighs> his team for two yeah. years about whether he's going to play or not and then goes to the jets <laughs> like brett Favre went to the jets <laughs> <laughs> and then ends up in Minnesota and we yeah. actually fucking does decent but doesn't ever win a Super Bowl. Yeah, did Favre go the he, Favre went to Minnesota first, didn't he? Uh no, Favre went to the Jets first and then ended in in Minnesota and took them all the way to a fucking uh, was it the uh, NFC Championship game and then lost. Maybe if I, if I remember correctly. But yeah, I mean, I don't think he wants to follow directly in Favre's footsteps. I think he wants his own legacy, so that's why I don't think he'll go to the Jets. I wouldn't be if he goes anywhere, I would say Tampa. Really? Mm-hmm. I've got another one. Yeah, because they're sleeve. definitely going to be looking for somebody. Yep. I have another one, and it's uh, it's way out there, but there's already talks about them looking at Lamar Jackson, too. If Lamar decides that, you know, or if Baltimore decides to trade Lamar, 
But it's, Lamar can just leave. He can. Yeah. yeah. He, yeah he's um, oh, that's agent. right. He's free, he's free agent. Free. Yeah. Um, but no, if uh, if there was something that ha- would happen with the Atlanta Falcons getting far or, or getting far, getting Aaron Rodgers, or they're pers- they're pursuing Lamar Jackson in Atlanta as well. I was gonna say Rodgers won't go to a rebuild. I heard. Uh, yeah. But so he won't go to. A he's gonna have to go to a team. He's gonna have to go team that's For ready. Sure. Okay. Uh, but last, last but not least, I saw another Lamar rumor, which I definitely don't like, and that is a trade straight up for Jared Goff and Lamar Jackson. Would you guys take well, you that? Can't, it's not a trade at that point. Well, well, they would do something. They would trade where, Goff and sign Lamar Jackson. Something like that. I don't think they do that either. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better because I don't want Lamar. I hope they do. Team. I hope they'll do anything to hurt themselves, the Lions. Uh, Since you're you. a fan, fuck you. Yeah. And I like the Lions, I know. but I hate you. They're great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, glad I'm glad I'm such a hated piece of shit on this show. You're welcome. Okay, well that is the sports part of uh, this episode. Now we get to move on to the fun stuff. This is overrated or underrated. Uh, send in if you have any suggestions for any of these, and uh, we're gonna kick it off with one that's not on this list. Uh, we're gonna go with overrated or underrated. Setting things on fire. Under fucking radar. <laughs> there is nothing better. And, and when, like, my buddy has uh, does fireworks and he gets, like, all the wires to do, like, the pyro mm-hmm. and shit, and he'll throw the wires in and it'll just burn different colors. Oh, yeah. Like, when you get it, you throw in, a, like, a beer box with a bunch of paint, different colors. Oh, yeah. Just how how fucking high it burns and uh-huh. just nothing about, something about burning shit that's just fantastic. Yep. How about you, JP? Definitely underrated. Yeah? Yep. What do you say? Unless you're talking about assholes. <laughs> then, that sounds smelly. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah. No, man. I love love fire. Oh. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's fun to set shit on fire, man. It's entrancing I mean, too, man. Just to like I'm gonna like I'm gonna do your studio if you have another gay comedian on the show. <laughs> You'll be here too. No. Okay, fine. Uh, no, I actually They're like Chinese fighting how, fish. You can't have them look at each exactly. other. And puff up. <laughs> as long as there's a piece of glass between <laughs> us, we'll be fine. <laughs> that's fucking weird. No, that's, why, that's the only way they see the each other when they're way. visiting in prison. Yeah. That's it, like. So seriously, what's the coolest thing you guys have ever lit on fire? I haven't gone yet. So what's the coolest thing you've ever like lit a blaze? My cousin's basement. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, my God. What did you do? We're stupid as fuck. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, so, you know those giant smoke bombs? They're called mammoth smoke bombs. Fuck, yeah, I know exactly. They're what, huge. Yeah, they're giant. And they yeah. smoke a fuck ton. Yeah, but they have a flame coming out of them. Well, if you put it in a jar and then you close the lid, <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> Things happen. Oh like, God. the smoke fills the jar and... There's nowhere else for the smoke to go, but the smoke keeps coming. So the jar explodes, and then the it, it sparks pretty good while oh, it's burning. God. And, dude, I mean, yeah. And it was in an apartment. Oh, even better. So, yeah. <laughs> Way to go. It, uh, I was grounded for a long time. I'm sure you were. That. How about you, Derek? What is the coolest thing you've set on fire? It's not really cool, but a whole row of bushes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> That's yeah. My old house, we were do, redoing the landscaping, and so we yanked out all the bushes with the truck, and I just put them all, <laughs> as one does. <laughs> and, yeah, and I put them in the fucking back of the. I had a fire pit in the backyard, and I stacked them like, oh my god, it was so fucking high. Oh yeah. And then that fucking flame went so high in the fucking air, and surprised the fire department didn't get fucking called. Yeah. Because you could see it down the street from the, from the front of the street. <laughs> I believe it. It was awesome. But it that looked, was it looked like the keeper of the planes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 We know what yours is. Uh, uh, for, uh, yours is probably uh, that cross you lit. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Yikes, no. Which cross? Uh, no, have, have that's s- true. You there were specific. like three of them. God damn it. That's so awful. No, uh, lighting shit on fire is way, way underrated. Um, the coolest thing that I have ever lit on fire, we, we lived on eight acres, and we had a huge-ass fire pit, and uh, after Christmas – my roommate just wanted to get rid of the Christmas tree with the lights on it. So we lit that motherfucker. I mean, it, it was just diesel fuel all over this damn tree, and it burned in so many pretty colors. It was fucking legit. And then we threw my couch onto it, which was even better. So that's uh, that's that. Uh, next one, we're going to go overrated or underrated. Conspiracy theories. Underrated. Really? Oh, I, I love people 
that like freak out about conspiracy theories. Like oh. I love them. I just, I, they're so funny. We have a dishwasher at work that dude, some of the shit that he <laughs> cut that comes out of his mouth. I'm just like, there's yeah. no way you believe that, but he does. Oh no, 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 he does. You're doing it wrong. You're doing it oh, wrong. It's awesome. You're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. What was Conspiracy theories are so, so underrated. And there's maybe some truth to some of them, like the JFK assassination, right? Some of it might be true. Some of it might be true. 9-11 was, was you know, a, a planned deal. All those ones. But, but like, the ones that are fucking, like, ridiculous, flat earthers, flat mooners, all of them together. If you get somebody in a really serious conversation with that, you don't sit there and try to shut them down. It's like, you don't believe this, do you? No, you don't do that. You egg them on. You to actually, get more. You get more. Yeah. And that makes yeah. it so much better. It is so much fun. It's like, yeah, yeah. And like, and like birds, man. Birds are fake. Did you know birds are fake? Yeah, birds oh, aren't real. That's oh, awesome. Those oh. people those people are my favorite, too. Yeah, yeah they're so, awesome. Uh, so those, those are the ones. And you do. You just keep on posting them and keep on feeding them and it'll be at a very entertaining afternoon so how about you Derek? i'm gonna go overrated oh yeah. i knew he would yeah, just to be a dick he's yep. just a he doesn't even sucks. believe it you can see some it in his eyes some of them are just fucking ridiculous like there's one now that damar hamlin died and that was somebody else at the game okay that showed that is a that is a conspiracy theory okay hold that on he's actually dead and he had his mask on and he did that the heart thing but he's actually dead and that wasn't him like the, it is fucking unreal the stupidity People, well, of some of these things, dude. I don't so know, man. That, that it, it was why. it was very shady. It was <sighs> very did shady. He, did shady. he do some kind of? He did his heart interview thing. though. I don't know. No, no, no. He never he never got they a mic. He said he went to the locker room. He and had did a all huge that. Yeah. he had a huge security team around him. His face was all covered up and you couldn't tell who it was because he was all because covered all up. Because all black people look the same? No. Is that what you want to no, say, Scotty? That is not. It seems like that's what you want to say. But it looks that's, very that's very odd. Doesn't that seem like that's what he wants to say? Looks very tight blacky either. Exactly. That's, my god. That's not cool, no, man. It looked very very odd. So but but I don't have any idea. Of course it was Demar. No, no, I don't know. See? Okay. See? This, Holy that's why crap. I said it. I changed okay. my answer, man. <laughs> yeah. I changed my answer. Punk Overrated. Him, you dork. Overrated. No, no, it wasn't Demar Hamlin. Oh okay. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Being a cameraman for a porno movie. Overrated. You're in a line of fire. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. And I was going to go overrated, but now that he said that, underrated. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying anything else. That's hey. all I need to say. Hey, women squirt. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, it's pee, but they squirt. That's oh, true. Well, it's a chance you got to take. <laughs> I guess. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll duck that matrix style while yeah. I catch the other. No, you, it's way overrated. You you don't even are you're not even participating. You're watching other people fuck. That's not fun. Then what do you do? Do you do you, while you're filming? Do you have like a raging erection and then go off and jerk off in the closet? Like what do you do? You Normally gotta, that's exactly what I do. Oh okay, all right. Well I still think that's overrated. I don't okay. think it's a good time. I do that for my morning coffee. Well, <laughs> so do I, Derek. But anyway. Uh, overrated or underrated? Answering someone else's phone. Way underrated. Completely. Yeah. Especially if the person that's calling doesn't know you. Because with my voice, I get I get busted. If the other person that's oh, calling yeah. knows me personally, uh -huh. they'll they'll never believe or they'll know what's up. Yeah. But if they don't know me, oh my god, so <laughs> underrated. <laughs> Especially if you've got a friend that's a girl that's dating the uh, guy that is calling. Ooh, oh, yeah. Ooh, that's even better. That's good shit. Yes, yeah. sir. This is way underrated. I love doing it. I love doing it to people at work. I love it when customers <sighs> call and I answer the phone and confuse the shit out of them and be like, no, I called the number. Nah, it's okay. I don't know what happened. You called the wrong number, but I'll get you over to who you need to see. Oh, I'm a dick. But yeah, this is way, way underrated. Derek? Oh, it's completely underrated. Mm -hmm. um, I'll just go along with it. I, I don't, oh, really? Yeah, I don't care who it's for. I don't care if they know me. If I know who it is, I'll change the voice. Oh, yeah? Absolutely. I'll go from this to, hello? <laughs> who this is? <laughs> what? <laughs> for real? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> hey, we'll, Absolutely. We'll have that conversation. Absolutely. Yep. It's, that's my yep. favorite thing in the whole fucking world. Yeah. Do you ever answer a phone call for your wife, like from work or something like that? 
Uh, no, she won't let me. Oh, okay. I've, I've answered. <laughs> I've some, been sworn. To. I've, I've answered some texts, <laughs> which have been really fun. Yeah, this is this is like basically getting on somebody's Instagram yeah, or Facebook man. and dropping a post. This awesome. is very very underrated. Uh, okay, last one. How oh. can I help you, sir? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Who are you looking for? <laughs> one moment. <laughs> Great. All right. Hello. <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> okay. Uh, last one. Overrated or underrated? Waking up to a blowjob. All right. It I'm, <laughs> I'm going to hang on a minute. I'm saying overrated because that is the weirdest fucking time I've ever woken up, and I'm never staying at your house again, Scotty. <laughs> I am never again. You pass out one time with your pants on, you wake up with your pants off. And you're just like, oh, hey, Scotty, uh, I'm going to go now. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, how about you there, JP? I'm going to say overrated because really? sometimes when they wake up, they don't appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Uh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know? This is overrated. <laughs> I This has happened before, and I don't like it. I yeah. don't. I, I, yeah, he claims he was sleep sucking. Yeah, right. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> right. I don't yeah. like it. No. Sorry, I was dreaming I was eating a popsicle. No, it's just I don't I don't know. First of all, I don't really like to be touched very much at all. I, I kind of have to know what's going on, especially and when you put. I your have hand. to know what's going on. Yeah. She, and the other thing that's got to be awkward, when especially when you put your hand on the back of his head. He yeah, hates he it. hates that. <laughs> he hates it. Yeah, yep. it sounds like he's saying Garoppolo. <laughs> <laughs> but. The other thing is... I don't care. I don't let him breathe. Unless I've got, like, morning wood, I don't want somebody to start sucking a flaccid dick. I don't... That just got, can't be fun. So I'm going to say it's overrated. Uh, can't is a strong word. Can't. Yeah, I know. All right. Anyways, um, we're moving on. We're going to go to uh, Google this. This is if we got to play Google. These are actual things that people have Googled throughout the United States. And uh, we get to have a little fun with this. So if we were Google, <laughs> first question, how do I get a girl to like me? Money. <laughs> the, yeah, that's it. That's yeah. the only answer. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, that's a real answer. Mm. But, um, you become very There is much, no other way, buddy. Yeah. You become way more attractive. How about actually like you? That's it. Oh, money. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I really like spending time with you on your private plane when you fly <laughs> me to France. <laughs> yeah. I have a wonderful time riding in your Lamborghini. How did you get your wife to like you? Huh? How did you get your wife to like you? Money. Oh. <laughs> she was just cheaper. She was just waiting on him. She yeah. was just waiting on him to win Wheel of Fortune. Uh-huh. She, she said, baby, the when, the, when they met, they said, baby, one day I'm going to win Wheel of Fortune, <laughs> and I'm going to make you a happiest woman in Kansas. That's what happened. And he that's what happened. She was just cheaper. She was just cheaper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some are more expensive. She was less expensive. Uh, that's. I don't know. All, really all you up. really do is you pay for sex. That's all it is. I mean, if you really think about it. I've never prosti- paid for sex. Yes, you have. Yeah, Prostitution right. should I be have. legal. If you take a girl out on a date and you buy her anything. If I, you're yeah. doing this for one motivation. You've, you're paying for sex. Well, um, I would say treat her like shit. Don't get a job. Be completely and totally irresponsible. That normally that's works. That's how you for, get a hoe. That's how that's you get how a you hoe. That's not how you get a girl. But yeah, no, that's that was yeah. How about you, JP? How do you how do you get a girl to like you? They all like me. I know they do. Oh God, they all like me. They feel safe around right because they're so, yeah they feel safe. They're like no I'm no threat. Yeah, unless they have a boyfriend <laughs> and so, he's cute and, 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 and all the, down and he's all of a sudden a yeah. threat. Exactly. Yeah, I got my wife from the wishing well at Perkins. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good old Perkins. Uh, next one, Google this. Why do people drink alcohol? To forget things. Yeah. To, to forget for, how yeah. much life sucks. Yeah, that's the only reason. <laughs> yeah. And then you might, if Same. you drink enough, you might get the balls to kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I'm doing. I'm just drinking, working myself up to it. Uh, Remind me to buy you a bottle of vodka. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And bullets. Don't forget uh, bullets. bullets. Oh, yeah. I have a it. nine. You technically are <laughs> killing yourself just at a very slow, slow rate. rate. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's kind of what's happening. Uh, there are tons of reasons why people drink alcohol. Children, shitty customers, if you work in retail. 
jail. But it's all the same thing. It's all the same you thing. You hate your life. You yeah. hate your, your life. fucking yeah. life. That's exactly right, JP. Is that your answer, no, 100%. too? 100%. I yeah, don't think there are, is any other I reason. Th- I think collectively, as Google, we would do a pretty goddamn accurate job. Some drinks taste good. I, I'd say especially the people that drink beer or those... Uh, Spritzer drinks, the seltzer drinks. Like, is not, that what you got no, right now? It's okay, not, no, it's but not. beer and seltzer drinks, that shit doesn't taste good, man. You just it's, are, you hate your fucking life, and yeah. when you're drunk, you forget about everything, and you're happy and yeah. carefree. And it's like I drink fucking bourbon and water. Part of that's because like I got too big of a belly drinking fucking beer, so I'm gonna cut the beer out, and then I get hammered fucking drunk. I'm like, <laughs> let's go to McDonald's. Yeah, right. Like that right. fucking just defeated that, that whole goddamn purpose. purpose. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I spent a lot more money, and now I'm not gonna remember the second half of this night. What a, Whereas what if the, I just would have drank a fucking twelve pack, I'd have been good. One yeah. of the guys I work with got really plastered one night and <laughs> was home by himself and decided he wanted to get some McDonald's. So he Uber eats McDonald's and then passed out. He said he woke up, he spent over $47 <laughs> oh, on I believe food it. and it was all sitting on the front porch. Yeah, <laughs> he never got it. Oh, that's even better. We know a guy that actually uh, got really shit faced, went to uh, McDonald's and ended up at home with a half McChicken in one hand and a long John Silver's hat. That would be Jeremy Joseph. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, All right. Next question. Why do men have nipples? Because you look fucking weird without them. (laughs) Yeah. That's. That's. That. I mean, I don't. Yeah, they don't really serve much of a purpose. But if you didn't have them. I have nipples, Greg. Can you milk me? Why the fuck do we have eyebrows? Because you'd look fucking (laughs) weird without without them. You ever see a picture of an alien? It's fucking weird looking. <laughs> Not because it's got a dome head or giant eyes or it's four foot tall and weighs 28 pounds. <laughs> they don't pounds. have nipples. They don't have fucking nipples. <laughs> yeah. Or butt cracks. Yeah. yeah. Which I, is weird. I, yeah, you can you can milk anything with nipples, I think, is would have been my answer. You just yeah. got to take certain pills, and men can, men can lactate, I've been told. So, yeah. You just got to take a lot of drugs. <laughs> Okay. So just go out there. All right. How about you, JP? Um, <laughs> Derek's answer is the best. Yeah, it'd look it, fucking weird, man. It would. That's really. Yeah. Imagine yourself without nipples. <laughs> yeah. And then drink a lot and borrow my gun. <laughs> it's just terrible. Somewhere to put the clamps. <laughs> yeah. I guess. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, I ch- thought I changed that one, but I didn't. But now I guess it's there. Um, uh, Google this. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know it was there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I might as well just let JP answer this one. Um, are gay people born gay? Yes. Okay. We're going to just close that one right up and move on. I didn't know. I, I didn't mean to put that in there. I like to think. I, I want to, I, I want to, yeah, go ahead. Say something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> We're I like, to it. I like it when, like when a, when a man is born gay, I like to think. <laughs> he doesn't come out crying. I think he comes out and goes, "Gross!" <laughs> <laughs> Ew! Oh! Yuck! <laughs> oh! Give me a Somebody pacifier give me a warm stat. Towel. <laughs> give me a pacifier stat. Oh. And when a when a woman when a, a girl is born, she just trying to get back in there, just like <laughs> or, or, yeah. or 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 does this. <laughs> oh, well, that's so fucking weird. <laughs> the very first time that I ever met JP, we were playing poker over at uh, Derek's, I believe. But he was fucking, he was fucking with me at downstairs while we were playing cards, and and uh, he said that he was he was actually molested by an, uh, by a really fucked up uncle. And I'm like, no, really. And he goes, yeah, that's why I'm gay. And I'm like, are you serious? And he's like, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> you fucking idiot. Not true. <laughs> His uncle will get drunk and pass out, and JP molest him. <laughs> <That's> right. Yeah, <laughs> there. That's closer to the truth. And then he's like, you know what? I think I'm gay. This you is- know, <laughs> turns out I really like sucking dick. Yeah, he's that's like, awesome. Yeah, I am gay. This, uh, yeah. this is great. <laughs> All right, next question or last uh, last Google this. Uh, why do people get a divorce? Because they're smart. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Oh man, I don't know about that. I, I, this, if, you, if you fucking hate each other, why oh, not? Yeah. yeah, it's better to peel it off early and yeah. then go through it and yeah, take all of the counseling and stuff. It's like why? Yeah, That's you're why. gonna drag me to more shit. I don't want to fucking do. Exactly. I don't like you. You don't like me. Sign the papers. Let's do this. Yeah. Like, that's it. I I think so too. Um, I think it has to do a lot with uh, with uh, her hiding your shit, like you said last mm-hmm. week. You're putting it where it's not supposed to be. And that 
<clears throat> I think it's totally fine, and you should uh, you should get a divorce if she does that shit. Actually, I want to change my answer. Okay, um, kids, kids. It's the kids' fault every time. Should, yeah, I every guess. goddamn time. And she always gets them. Mm-hmm. Not it's not even that. It's beforehand. It's their fault. Oh, oh, I got it. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everything was great until you come along. That's oh god, that was actually me. You know, mm-hmm. I think that uh, the it's crazy. Uh, you see it more and more. Once kids come and they're gone, once the kids are out of the house, people get divorced yes, because they don't have anything in common anymore because mm-hmm. they, it's all been about the kids. Yeah. And now they forgot how to love each other. It, it's also and a, it's sad. It's also a huge financial burden uh, during a divorce whenever your kids are still not adults. That's why we don't have kids. Yeah. Well, that makes perfect mm-hmm. sense. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's uh, if you get a divorce when your kids are still are, are have not reached the oh, age of eighteen, sure. yeah. the dad gets just fucking ripped. But anyways, all right, we're blowing through this episode, which is kind of good because uh, it's uh, it's going to be a long night. Okay. Uh, also, a reason people get divorced is because they end up turning. They into find home. me fucking the husband. <laughs> That's yeah. what. I, yeah. Okay. All right. Questions and preguntas again, guys. If you have any suggestions for any of these segments, you can send them to us at uh, uh, Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram. Do follow us there as well. Um, we do post a couple of other things that you cannot see on TikTok or on YouTube as well. So uh, go check us out there. Exclusive content. It's just it's just different. It's a little di- little bit different of a platform. So, but then you can also message us, and we can look at some of the things that you have suggestions for. Uh, first question: You haven't truly lived until you've experienced blank and blank at the same time. Hookers and blow. Fair enough. All right. Okay. Winning fantasy football back to back years and pissing off the entire league by buying a belt. Derek, all right, uh, jerking off and taking a dump. I oh. was, I was gonna. Say, <laughs> yeah. I said, I said, shitting and blowjob. Yeah. What the jerking fuck? Yeah, yeah blumpkin. They, yeah, oh. this is a slumpkin. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's- <laughs> You jerk off and take because a shit. Because you're doing it yourself. Yeah. It's a slumpkin. It's a slumpkin. <laughs> what the oh. fuck? I got to say, Derek, you have come up with some of the best Slump- words slumpkin on this Slumpkin tells show. me that people are going to like that one. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you get meefs and slumpkins. Yeah, that's a slumpkin, man. Oh, that's not good. Okay. <laughs> that's fucking great. <laughs> Your life is just really that fucking sad, isn't it, man? Uh, oh, God damn you it. You want to get drunk later? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking so uh, cute. Okay. Uh, so there it is. I don't think anybody needs to answer that anymore. That's done. Next question. <laughs> Next question. Uh, mundane activities that should be Olympic events. Parking. One hundred percent. If I mean, I just want, and I want the crowd to be absolutely obnoxious for people that don't know how to fucking park. Oh, it angers me. Mm. How about you, JP? Bowling. Uh, what a f- mm. uh, You're the one that says it's a mundane activity. It's not, not a sport. No, so it's definitely not a sport. It's okay, okay, Netflix and chill. Oh, all right, I do that. Okay, that's fine. How, right. how about you, Derek? Uh, racing not to shit your pants. <laughs> <laughs> like like that race to the bathroom. You might be five miles from your house. You might be downstairs in the bathroom upstairs. But it's really all in the dismount. It's that, <laughs> it's that walk you get when your stomach realizes, and it's a scientific thing, when your sum- stomach realizes that it's like, oh, hey, I know this spot. Let's go ahead and shit now. And you're like, no, let's not. We still got to go, and then you got to do that duck walk. You got to pinch your ass cheeks together as tight as you can and hope to God you're going to make it, <laughs> especially when you undo that first fucking button on your pants or uh-huh. undo that belt, yeah. and now it's like and then it it's a race. It, yeah. Yeah. yeah, It's like, oh, my God, did I shit the seat or did I make the bowl? You know? it's and like you a, don't find out till you get up. It's like a quick draw to take your pants uh-huh. off and sit on the bowl. Mm-hmm. It's uh, all on the disc. When that happens, I always like – when I get, when I get up, there's always a little on each side of the uh-huh. yeah. you know oh what I mean? God. Yeah. Because I didn't quite make it all the way. You know yeah. what I mean? It didn't necessarily get in my pants. Yeah. But it was up on that part of my leg. Are you blast the bull so bad it looks like a fucking Rorschach test? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I see puppies and yeah, rainbows. Absolutely. <laughs> 
No, but like I but, think that's the Hamburglar. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. But I, I got a question. Whopper, whopper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but how how do you take two Bigfoot? <laughs> yeah. It's not Bigfoot. That's right. But how do you take two competitors? Do they have like little like pressure things that uh, porta potty versus porta potty? Yeah, but they got to be at like the same pressure for two mm-hmm, competitors. Absolutely. Yeah. So they. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you guys got to have to. You eat the same thing, <laughs> or you get you both take laxative. <laughs> okay, that, that's what you go. do, and then you let it set and timed. And okay. Then, and go. There you, there here we go. go. It's I, like Ninja Warrior, but going to take a shit. <laughs> it's like. Sometimes I throw cardboard boxes on the stairs just to make myself a little bit more challenged. Yeah, absolutely. You got to train. You, you, know, what, you, you know what gets train. everybody? Salmon ladders. Every salmon time. Salmon ladder. Always, yeah, always, dude. That yeah. is tough. That is tough. I have shit myself on the salmon ladder more than I care to talk about. <laughs> to make this a fucking event this is goddamn brilliant uh okay uh next question more money more blank eggs Ooh. eggs oh oh i did not expect that wow. more money more eggs that's oh. true too I'm rolling in fucking eggs, rolling in eggs. <laughs> it's all you I, kidding me? I just fucking drive down the highway throwing eggs out i'm not even at anything just because yeah. i can absolutely i make an omelet just throw it away uh, yeah yeah i'm like nah you know what i'm not hungry oh wow yeah that's that's a very true one i i, I did uh shit to throw away if you, if you if you have a shitload of money, you're just buying 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 more shit, and, and and you don't even realize how much shit you have until you move, and then when you move, you realize this is going to suck. So that's mine, mm. JP. Pool boys. Fair enough. More yeah. money, more pool boys, that's... and I won't even have a pool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even like swimming. It's a kiddie pool. You got Bunny the Life. <laughs> yeah, one of those plastic ones. Not yeah. even the blood. Just the old uh-huh. school. And plastic molded. Uh, yeah, you, you it, got Bunny, sure. Bunny the lifeguard. That's yeah. right. That guy. There you go. It attracts that 20, 22 year old you were looking for. Okay, uh, next one. This is actually coming in from a listener. This is coming from a gentleman named Lane Baxter. He wants to know what is something only people from the Midwest do? Yank out bushes with their truck. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they do. It was actually my father in law's truck. <laughs> okay, yeah, because you wouldn't want to use your own. I didn't have one, but Just we burned case. them together. I, I can't <laughs> yank bushes with a Mazda 3, JP. Well, you yeah. can try. Uh, All I do is pull bush with a monster. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, <laughs> she hasn't been using her manscaped. <laughs> uh, this is actually a real one. Uh, only people from the Midwest, whenever you try to go and say goodbye to somebody, you're there for an additional 15 to 20 minutes every time. It takes you forever to finally leave, and that is a true thing. Only people in the Midwest have pancake breakfasts really? for charities. Really? That's a Midwest thing for Ooh, sure. Only mm. people in the Midwest eat cinnamon rolls with and chili. And chili. So what good. The fuck? We do that at work. Oh, oh it's you so good. Psycho so fucking good. people. Jesus, that's the one I thing. I didn't I can't. know this, but some people told me that the uh, chicken and noodles over mashed potatoes is a Midwest thing, that that's not common all over. Okay. I don't ever do that. What? You've you never s- had chicken and noodles over mashed potatoes, man? No. Oh, it's fucking delicious. You guys are fucking nuts. Dude, you got problems. I knew it. I've known it for a long time. I'm, but the more I'm around you, the more I never want to come back. Go ahead and go, Derek. I got one more. All right. Uh, eat it, Red Lobster. That's, <laughs> that's, uh, in a landlocked state, you can get the freshest <laughs> seafood <laughs> at Red Lobster. <laughs> And then brag about the cheddar biscuits. That's yeah, true. There you go. That hardened and turned to something uh, you could throw at your friends. Uh, but the last one I heard about was uh, macaroni and cheese and cottage cheese. Separate. Oh, no. Together. Barf. Uh, oh, yeah. 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 Hmm. yeah. I'm interested. Go for it, buddy. Uh, okay. Uh, last question. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, the new hit TV mashup. Blank. I hate this question. Yeah, because all my references are super old. So if well, if you're if they're not at least forty, they're probably not going to get them. Eh, give it a shot. All right, uh, go for it. Charlie's Angels in Charge. Ah, they'll get that one. Yeah, they'll get that one for sure. Okay. Well, your girlfriend didn't. Okay. My wife, I mean. <laughs> Which one? I don't remember. I got a good one. Like Scotty could pull two bitches. Go for it. Fuck yeah, I could. Uh, Game of the Rings. Oh, I like it, dude. Oh, oh yeah, I baby. like it. 
Mm. That was awesome. Oh, it's give a- yourself a little applause. Yeah, okay. I'll take Thank it. Thank you. All right, that's enough. Scotty German, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> if you want to contact Scotty, please yeah. text him at 316. No, 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 no. Uh, but that is actually a porno show, actually. Game of the Ring. <laughs> Game that, of the Ring. That's the, only way it it could, that's the only way it could work. I like that. How about you, Derek? Uh, Doug the Bounty Hunter. Doug oh. the Bounty Hunter. Yes, sir. Not, not even Quail Man. Just Doug. <laughs> Doug the doesn't Bounty even, Hunter. Doesn't I like bring it. pork chop. No. Just Doug. Just yep. Doug. Is he always running after Roger Klotz? No, he's running after <laughs> fucking fugitive. Okay. He's a bounty because hunter. Because he's a bounty hunter. Oh, okay. Jesus fucking Christ, Scotty. Yeah. Yeah. Pay attention, man. I God ain't. damn. Does he bring patty mayonnaise with him? No, he tries, no. To, he tries to smash it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just making sure. Yeah, he's still trying to get in them guts. <laughs> <laughs> with his, little, still with his yeah. little ass dick. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that is questions and preguntas. Now we get to move on to a new segment uh, that we don't have a box, uh, but we do have something. I wanted to tell everybody. Uh, Catches a fugitive, and then they go eat a honker burger after. <laughs> yeah, honker <laughs> burger. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, we're going to move on to what's in the box. Uh, we did get a um, a package for Jeremy Joseph whenever he does come back for an episode. We're going to hold nice. off on, obviously, open that without him. It's actually addressed to him, so we'll give it to him whenever that happens. So I just wanted to let you know. Uh, but we did not get a box. I actually sent it. It's a naked picture of myself. Oh, okay. Well, that, he's going to appreciate that. <laughs> mm-hmm. You he can you, put it with the rest of them. You're in your LAD. Um, we got a Los Angeles Dodgers. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> little ass dick. Mm. Um, but no, no we, you did wake up blowing me that day. Okay, it looks like a wedding invitation or something. I'm scared that that that's exactly what it is. It really does. If you're listening, I like how you got a knife out to open an envelope. Yeah, I, I know. I, well, well, it's got to be just careful. open it. It's man. got it's got tape all the way on the sides. You jackass. Oh my god, I can't. Yeah. I've never seen it. tape before. No, it's like how that, do I how get do through I get this through barrier? This tape. It's it's actually like what the, do you call this stuff? It's tape? actually the good stuff too it's oh like it's the, the good tape mm. yeah doesn't um, look ducked to me scott but, but this yeah. is from uh heather hale uh she sent this to us we're gonna kind of i don't want to destroy it because i kind of want to keep it well then you shouldn't use the knife yeah i did use the knife okay is that martin luther king oh, uh oh no. yep it's a wedding invitation. it's a wedding invitation heather and dude, jeff let uh-huh. me see the guy uh oh yeah yeah good looking dude Good looking couple. Yeah. Mm, I'm, I'm, I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there. Oh, man. Where's it at? I'm looking up. Oh, no. Way away. Yeah. Away. Wedgwood Sequoia Mansion in, in uh, Placerville, California. A what? mansion in California sounds nice. It does sound nice. Are they I paying will... to, to fly us out? <laughs> yeah. Because if they're going to pay to fly us out, I'm fucking there. Yeah, that might change my uh, my thoughts. I on feel that. like if yeah. you're going to get a celebrity to come to your wedding, which is obviously what they're trying to do, <laughs> then <laughs> they should at least pay your flight on the way out. You know what I think they're trying to do is you've seen these, this trend now where you just send very uh. rich people wedding invitations and then oh, you they're hope trying they to get us to you. buy them they yeah. picked the wrong people yeah so i think they <laughs> jokes got a, on them i think they got a little nitro scotty might yeah oh. there you go we yeah, got we, pl- could, we got plenty of them so we, we, could, send a, we could send them a little nitro and uh, a couple ba- snowboard bindings <laughs> and and, and, that'll, and, so, and a bag of gummy dicks and a bag still, of gummy dicks there you go over there happy wedding but thank you very much both to uh heather and jeff um I, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure I don't think any of us could. We all have full, full-time jobs. I'm pretty sure we're booked. But Are they registered? Uh, ooh. We could uh, look yeah, it looks like he's a sex offender. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, he yeah. has to. He's got to be If registered. they're anywhere near a school. Yeah. Um, but Heather and Jeff, uh, do reach out to us on the show. Uh, send something to us on uh, Laughing on the Sideline on Instagram, and uh, we'll at least uh, give you a shout-out or, or say hi or something like that. But For sure. Congratulations, congratulations to both of you. That's congratulations awesome. on getting married. Jeff, I'm going to try to talk you out of it just so you know. Uh, you should uh-huh. because it's not worth it. It's, um, but anyways, congratulations so, to both of you. All H, right. It says HJ on the back of it. I thought for sure that was, <laughs> hand uh, job. was getting a hand job. <laughs> I thought when that envelope yeah. opened up. <laughs> I'm like, this is going to be the coolest <laughs> pop-up <laughs> card I've ever seen. <laughs> Love Pop has taken their game up a notch. <laughs> I mean, it was an invite. They're going to sell tons and <laughs> yeah. tons of those things. It, yeah. it, I mean, it was an invite, but for something uh. else. Uh, but thank you very much to both uh, both of them, Heather and Jeff. I um, uh, hope you guys have a great wedding. Uh, now we get to move on to and, and live happily ever after and stuff. Uh, now we can move on to uh, a very popular part of every single episode. This is our Laughing on the Sidelines draft.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Laughing on the Sidelines draft. We drafted last week the worst uh, gifts to give your spouse for Valentine's Day. And JP won. Yeah, baby. Where's my applause? What? Oh, sorry. My Come bad. Come on. Yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> That was the wrong one. That was the wrong one. Uh, oh, damn it. Did you want that That's one? That's the one I wanted. Okay. Um, but anyways, yes, JP ended up winning uh, with divorce, I think, was uh, the best uh, pick. I thought it got. was the box set of Everybody Loves Raymond. That oh. over the top. <laughs> okay, that's very true. Um, but uh, Derek came in second, and I came very close to, uh, to passing Derek, but I came in last. Mm. Surprise, surprise. Mm. Um, this week's draft, I think, is going to be kind of a fun one. Um, this comes from Derek. Uh, this is going to be our favorite places or restaurants that have closed down. So this is basically any restaurant or uh, store, chain right. or store that has closed down. Right. And uh, I get first pick this week. Derek gets sandwich picks, and Jer- uh, Jeremy JP gets the uh, championship picks back to back. Uh, my number one pick, there is technically one of these that is still open. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, you son of a bitch. Nationwide oh, is I hate going you to be so much. Blockbuster God video. Damn it. To scratch that out. That is the best one. <sighs> There is something about walking into those pl- that like those places and seeing everything on the wall that was just so was much more awesome. personal. It was so freaking the awesome. Be kind. Rewind signs were everywhere. Oh, it was a fucking great time. But that's the best one, uh, Derek. You get second pick. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> yeah, I know. Pete's Mugs and Jugs. Pete's <laughs> Mugs and Jugs. God, I miss that place. <laughs> I don't know what I miss is, more, Pete or the Jugs. <laughs> is that a real place? No, I was fucking okay. like, like, You're what? writing it down. It's He's like, right. Well, the, both of them are older than me. Maybe this was like a local place that I had no fucking idea about. Pete's Mugs and that sounds Jugs. Like a, that sounds like, a, like an overweight strip joint. That's what I was thinking it was. Sal's House of Beef. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay. You, never, never mind. You you get a real pick. All right. I drove to Kansas City because they had the band playing at a bar and somebody bought it. Yeah. Uh, and I had birthday parties there as a kid and I loved it. it was uh, I don't know if you guys had one out here. Uh, Showbiz Pizza. Was oh, it. you mother! <laughs> I'm done. I'm out of here, man. I'm sorry. Oh my god! Are you did kidding you guys, me, did you guys bro? Have one? You really said Showbiz Pizza? Yeah. When I was a kid. Oh, that's look, where look, I went. man, look. My number one pick, bro. <laughs> oh, you prick. That sucks. Oh, I love well, that place. Well, he took my number one. I know. Oh, when I was a man. kid, there there was a bar in Kansas City just like three years ago. The Rock of Fire Explosions, the band. And they had it reprogrammed to like new songs, oh. and it was a barcade. So I sat there and drank and listened to fucking so the, the gorilla bear, and the, shit. the bear, his name was Billy Bob. Yeah, and then they well, had the gorilla, which was what fat the Red Lobster like on the East Side used to be a showbiz pizza. Oh, was it? And there's a big room in the back that is still painted up, and there's Billy Bob and the gorilla. Yeah, they're, they're all in that room we called it the billy bob and whenever you wanted to go just take a break or whatever you went to the billy bob that's but fucking it, yeah, awesome yeah yeah that was like we had my birthday Man. parties as a kid damn okay cool <laughs> right on <laughs> Right on. You know, I won. I won last week, <laughs> you did. and I'm not going to be here next week. <laughs> so why, why, why win? <laughs> yeah, we do. I don't think very many people are going to remember what that is. Oh, we, we that do. was my join as a kid. Wh- while you said that, we might as well let everybody know. Next week, we have a new guest that's going to be coming on. Uh, Derek. What? Who do we got it's, coming it's on? Not me. I've been here. Oh, <laughs> I've no, been here for no. years. Who's, Don't come, call who's it a coming comeback. on next week? Uh, Mike Baldwin. Yes, he's a traveling Great, traveling comedian. Awesome guy. Yep, he'll be on next week. So tune in for that. He not as cool as me. Oh, uh, okay. Cooler. But right. Uh, but yeah, JP, you get two in a row there, dude. Oh, uh, great. <laughs> I don't know if I have two left. <laughs> okay, let's go with Bennigan's. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. The best Monte Cristo that money could buy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and Radio Shack. Oh, oh, fucker. That was a good one. Ooh, this is going to be competitive. Mm, it was. Good call, Derek. I dig this draft. Okay. 
Okay. You get your second pick. Another place that I used to spend a lot of birthday parties at as a child. Oh. Uh, Aladdin's Castle. God damn it, you motherfucker. <laughs> I wanted the goddamn arcade, you Ooh. piece of shit. Well, you got the video store, you fuck stain. Yeah. Uh, Aladdin's Castle. Yeah. Good one. That's my joint. What cracks Good me one. up is that that, I don't even know if that's like an actual chain of arcade it companies. Was. Okay. It was. Okay. Yeah. No, 100%. Or just everybody no, was like, hey, was. let's open up an Aladdin's no, Castle it was in a the chain. mall. It yeah. was for sure a chain. Oh, I grew up in Illinois Jeez. and we had them there. Hey man, they have the arcade now here. I know. It's, it's awesome. Cool. They're getting ready. It's, it's so moving. Gonna, it's yeah, moving. It's going to bigger. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I've seen pictures and it looks It's it's dope. Dope. It is. Uh this one broke every little kid's heart. <sighs> uh it it did and that uh that was the place where you went and got all of your toys and that would Perkins. be Perkins. They're still around. Perkins. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that would be Toys, toys, toys are us. us. Damn it. It's mm. always great yep. to be Mark a toys that off the list too. Are cool. Us kid. Um, I don't know. I'm almost positive that a, a lot of people will will remember this, but maybe some people won't. This was one of my favorite places to go in uh, the mall, and that is uh, the Suncoast <sighs> Ocean Sun Coast. Picture Company. Yeah. That yeah. place was dope as shit. It was cool. So when when it was relevant, it was badass. Yeah, yeah it really was. For sure, it's a lot like Blockbuster. Kind of, sorta. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, Except they had music. Yeah, they did. And they had what like, was they the had place record. on they North Rock Road that had it was only music? There's a few of them, but I'm not going to no. tell you right oh, now. Oh, <laughs> you son of a bitch! Oh, what was it called? Uh, none of your. Oh, it was such a cool place, none man. None of your goddamn yeah. business. Oh, you. Oh. My turn now. Yes, it is. All right. Say well, it. since JP's on on to uh, me, I've got it written down right here. Uh, music Land. No, oh, that's it. <laughs> How can I not think of that? Music Land. Yeah, you music prick. It was yeah. them and Camelot. Yeah. Oh. I've got I've got one just like sitting in the balance, yeah, that, and I, I just sitting right there. I was yeah. Like, oh. oh. I just don't know if it is if it was just a, a place here in town. So I'm, I'm, I'm holding on to it, but yeah. All right. We can hold on to this. Motherfucker. JP, uh, you get two. <laughs> All right. The first one I'm going to go with Joyland, which Ooh, is okay. a, that's, that's a local, local amusement park. That was man. Every school, we took school trips there once a year, at least. Yeah. I got tetanus um, there. It was great. Yeah, man. The first, the first pl- time I ever kissed a girl, was in the wacky shack at oh, Joyland, yeah. and you were like, "I'm gay." And <laughs> yep, that's all it took. Yeah. So that's all it took. And then she took her penis out, and <laughs> it was, you know, and then it was later love. On, wow, I didn't know that was a thing back then. And, and, that right, was back it wasn't. That's why it happened in the wacky that shack. Was, that was basically in the seventies, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, it wasn't that long. And then ago. later oh. on, jerk. that actually became the coolest thing. JP burned down the wacky, <laughs> the wacky, wacky yeah. shack. No, for those of you guys that don't know, uh, that aren't in our area, go ahead right now and stop and Google uh, pictures of Joy land because you'll get it was an awesome place you'll get, creepy now well that's yeah. the thing you'll now get they, both they did that drone video where they yes. flew that drone in there it yes. was creepy as shit that is here in wichita and it was in the heyday it was fucking legit as far as like a small would kinda, you spend the night out there for a thousand dollars oh yeah oh yeah. Hell, yeah hell yeah i'm not scared for of that thousand shit. bucks fuck, fuck you fuck i'd do it you would do it yeah not for a thousand you would I, do it though scotty for a yeah, thousand i'd do it for a thousand you think we could find somebody to sneak oh, out there and murder him while he was there it, it is pretty sketch yeah. it, it is mean, really that's not, worth a thousand dollars to me actually i don't know they may have already torn it down because i know they were talking about it for yeah, a while but it, it, the, it all right looked, it looked like pripyat uh being abandoned it's fucking crazy all right so so far i have bennegan's radio shack and joyland I'm yep fucked. you got one more oh it's me again mm-hmm. you get uh, you said joyland okay yeah. i forgot, I forgot to write i'm gonna down. stick with the local places and go barnacle bill's fantasy oh okay. fuck that was God damn man it. that was the place to be when i was in high school man oh dude it that, was that, awesome it was it was uh, kind of a local water park here yep. and it was it was pretty it legit was they awesome. had they had a slide called the thunder plunge it was, mm, it was, yep. it was dope yeah i'm see i'm kind of the same age as you fucks uh okay um derek espn zone Ooh, I don't even think I ever saw that. Place. Oh, they were dope. They had one in the Dallas airport for a while. They had. I went to the one in New, in where did I go? With Chicago. It was fucking cool as shit. It was like a restaurant, but they had it was it was fucking cool. They had TVs fucking everywhere, like recliners you could sit in and watch games. And mm-hmm. It was dope. Awesome. Okay. I I do not know if this was a chain or not, but I know we had one here. And that was DZ Discovery Zone. Yeah, that was a chain. Yes, 
I was success. Um, Discovery Zone. I was too old for Discovery Dude, Zone. Dude, that place was awesome. Uh, they yeah. had like ball pits and stuff yeah. like that. And then well, you'd have loved it. Yeah, you, you, you <laughs> Turns out I missed I missed the <laughs> missed the boat on that one. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know about the ball pits. Yeah, that's when you should have found out you were gay. Yeah. And I am going Get me in the toner and throw me in the ball pit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh shit! I, I I guess I'm gonna end with one. I I just never really, I never really went to it, so I kind of don't want to pick it. Ooh ooh! I will pick this one. I know this one's a chain. Um, you would go and get all of these fucking like like second. It was it was sec, it wasn't second hand. They're all new, but it's Stephen Berry's. Like oh yeah, Stephen Berry's. Yeah. yeah, it was like the uh, what is that other store that's like that now? Okay, now. God damn it. <laughs> no, it's open now. Yeah. Um, uh, fan- Old Navy. Kind of, sort of. It was so much like Old Navy. Was it really? Mm-hmm. Oh, I have Cheap uh, ass clothes. It was that, cheap ass t-shirts yeah. and stuff like that, but they had like custom shirts and stuff. Being so. a gay, I have a little bit more class. Oh, okay. Uh, so. <laughs> yeah, but that, all, that, that's the one I'll wrap up. I've got a couple that are in my, my uh, honorable mentions, though, too. Derek? I have another toy store, but I'm not going to do it because you took one, Toys R Us. That's the one I was going to take. KB? To, yeah, KB. That's yep. the one I grew up with, but yep. I won't take it because you already took a toy store. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, sorry. There was a store that I don't. I think it was a chain, but it was when I moved out here and I thought it was pretty cool because that's the only place I could get Beavis and Butthead shirts back in the day. Oh. Uh, it was called Gadzooks. Yes, Gadzooks. Gadzooks. I yeah. forgot about yeah. that shit. Now it's Hot Topic. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, same it's thing. Same, yeah but it, it's a different owner, so it, will, yeah. it, it, it counts. It wasn't gothy when I, and weird. No, kid, no, though. no. It was, it was, but it was very like the stuff you found there. You could never find anywhere. Yes. Right? Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, JP. This is your last pick. What do you got? Oh boy, my whole list got crossed off. Because we did yeah, this. This is a great this is draft. Tough. I didn't use my phone. Man, you guys took. I, I had to get reminders man. after after the first three. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> I had to go off the dome. For I'm going to go with one more restaurant. Okay. I, I think it's a national chain. Uh, okay. Semolinas. I don't like that. the pasta, Simolina's pasta. Mm-hmm. I, I it was know. on, uh, it was way out like northwest. I want to okay. say, I don't, I don't think I, oh ever god, it was that. delicious, man. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I'm pasta freak. Well, I, I love Italian food, I, and I, it was so good. There's some that I do not know if they, if they still exist because a lot of these places, like restaurants and stuff like that, went out of business after COVID hit. So like macaroni grill, I just know that there's not one here. They still have them. Okay, then I then I they may still have some Molinas somewhere too. Okay, um, but another one I was gonna uh, put up there. Uh, get your phones away from the microphones, you dorks. Um, Hollywood Video was the competitor to uh, Blockbuster. Yep. That was one. Uh, family Video was another <laughs> one, and it and one of the last uh, yeah. Family Videos was actually here in Wichita. It closed. Where, yeah, where I grew up in Rose yeah. Hill is called Video Tech. Oh, okay. And, it, that's obviously closed now too, but mm-hmm. uh, it, yeah. was, it was the best place ever. They used to have a card, where a punch card, mm-hmm. and buy one game, rent one game, get one free, or rent oh, two cool. games, get one free, or oh. one free game, and you could use a punch once once a week. I or think I, yeah. it was awesome. Yeah, um, but the one that I did, I was gonna pick, but I didn't because I didn't ever go there. Pay less. Like the shoes. I think it's still around. I was going to say Sears. It was actually 20. Oh, fuck. But they're, they're kind of still, still around. Too. Yeah. They're Are they of, really? Yeah, they're not a lot of them, but not, they're, they're around. They're around, but they're not at malls. Before, <laughs> I know that a lot of you don't remember this, but before the interwebs. Yeah, there was uh, a Sears there was a catalog. catalog. Yeah. <laughs> man, and that was the best time of year when the Christmas catalog came out. Because that bitch was thick. Oh, man. And, and the toy section all was the, huge. If you look in the adult section, all the underwear models. Yeah, oh, bras and underwear. God, I jerked off to the Sears telecatalog <laughs> more than I care to mention. The bras and underwears? The underwear. Oh, yeah, okay. The guy, <laughs> yeah, the, 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 I was young, man. So, <laughs> okay. you know, seeing a guy in his underwear was did it for me. Okay, that's fair. How about you? Any Any honorable mentions at all? Man, uh, not really that I can think of off the top of my head. I was just scrolling through looking at a list, but <laughs> I wish I, they were all pretty well. Like KB Toy was, you, you said that Hollywood yeah. Video was one yeah. that I had, uh, but I didn't want to do anything that was like kind of the same, same. thing. Yeah, no, yeah. no, it makes sense. That what? that's the number. That's the one hundred and one, and it's not even close. <laughs> Shakey's Pizza, I guess, but I don't think. What was that massage parlor that was on Pawnee and Oliver? <laughs> <laughs> Pete's. <laughs> yeah. Pete's yeah. mugs and jugs. No, right. no, it was Pete's massage. Pete's he was massage a, and he was a mogul. <laughs> he was a mogul. 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How long did you work there, JP? <laughs> <laughs> Not long enough. I believe it. Uh, but anyways, guys, you can go to Laughing on the Sidelines on Facebook.com slash Laughing on the Sidelines, and you can vote by clicking on uh, the corresponding emoji for the list that you like the best. Please for. don't let Scotty win. I know he's got a great list. Come the fuck come on, on. He doesn't deserve it. Yes, he does. I deserve it way more than Derek does. Go fuck yourself. Circuit City. I could still yeah. win Circuit this. Circuit City was City's another one. one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you can go. Uh, that is normally uploaded on uh, Wednesday by around lunchtime, uh, and whoever wins gets a pat on the dick. There you go, J from JP. Uh, oh, you won. You need to fellace yourself. You're supposed to do that. Done and done. All right. <laughs> Good thing it was off camera. Derek uh, and I had to ha- held his legs down. Yeah. All right. A, otherwise, I couldn't suck it by myself. <laughs> right. All right. But now I get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines. Shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Luxury Flush, where they encourage slumpkins. And uh, this week's shitty situation, I had to look up a brand. (laughs) This week's shitty situation. (laughs) You're no Jeremy. I know. You know what, man? Try not to make jokes anymore. I'm trying. Just host the show. That's the worst part. Nobody wants to ask the gay guy anything, so I know. What the hell's wrong with you people? I I could ask you what Wiz used to ask gay people. Yeah, when you brush your, your teeth, teeth yeah. do you do it like normal, or do you just hold the toothbrush and go like this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's one of my favorite, that's a favorite fucking great, jokes. Wait, whenever you fucking, what you say? Whenever you finish, do you spit or do you swallow? Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Fucking Chris yeah, Winslow has that line. It's fucking fantastic. So how do you brush your teeth, JP? <laughs> like Chris says. <laughs> All right. Well, this week's Laughing on the Sidelines uh, comes from Derek. So, Derek, take it away, dude. Huh? Yeah, these are your ideas. Oh, all right. Um, yeah. Would you rather... Uh, what was it, what were we talking about? <laughs> Do you not remember? Uh, no, this week's uh, Laughing what Inside. Uh, the shitty situation is you have to go to the bathroom, and it oh, is yeah. an emergency. Yeah. So would you rather duck walk, get really, really close, and not make it and shit your pants... Or duck walk and barely make it, but you give yourself a slumpkin and somebody catches you in the act. Yeah, you're in the public bathroom in this and situation. The, yeah, this yeah. is this is totally a uh, Walmart type area. Okay. 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 Right. I'm shitting my pants. Really? I've done it multiple times. I talk about it on this show. Sometimes you trust a fart. Mm. And it's not. Mm. Uh, the only problem is, is that this sounds like it's some pretty explosive stuff. And so I just got out of going to Walmart. So yeah, I'm gonna take that. I, uh, I it'd be weird, just in the in the fucking bathroom stall and uh, no. God uh, damn, how hard are you jerking off, Scotty? <laughs> Jesus he's gonna, Christ! He's gonna rip that little thing right off. <laughs> yeah. No, just vig- vigorously. Vigorous. You gotta do it vigorously yeah. and a half flaccid penis. That's that's the way you're supposed to do it. So I hear. So I hear. Yeah. But uh, no, I'm, I I I would much rather. Scotty never tries to suck his own dick. No, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, no, dude, I, I I'm one of those people that if I'm jerking off, like the door's got to be locked. There's no way my <laughs> wife can get in there. Like I do not want to be walked in. I don't on. want to fuck her. I just want <laughs> to jerk want... off. No, it's just like it's my private time, man. It's, it's I, my private yeah. time. Scotty's private time. It's my private time. I don't want to be in a in a bathroom stall. In the, how could you get a erection in a bathroom stall? Okay, man. Um, <laughs> yes. JP's got many. Yes, he just I could. Made $3,000 uh, at the I casino. I just made a grand that's, at the casino. That's right. I forgot. My bad. Uh, but anyways, how about you, JP? What, what would you rather do? Well, I have to say that I would rather get caught giving myself a slumpkin in the bathroom <laughs> because, I mean, yeah, I, you know, why not? <laughs> why Half not? the time, if they catch you, they're going to want to join in. Half? Oh, half the percentage. It sounds high, 
Well, it does sound high, but you've never given yourself a slumpkin in the bathroom before at Dillard's, obviously. No, I have not. Okay, this well, is Walmart, JP. This oh, is, this is Walmart. That's even better. That Those Walmart. people have nothing to live for. Plus, Walmart's still open. I think yeah. Dillard's is closed. You look down, and you see those little slippers underneath the door, and you're like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's you're on. in. Yeah, it's, it's on. It's so, on. They got, yeah, they definitely got, get caught. They got Hey Dudes on, something like that. Definitely better than shit in your pants. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I've done both, and yeah. definitely yeah. the slumpkin. Oh, really? I told you you got kind of loose down there. Mm. Anyway. Happens. Uh-huh. Derek, how about you? I'm going to go with the slumpkin. Of course you are. <laughs> yeah, I have God. to. I have to, man. Um, I, I'd rather get caught jagged off than get caught shit in my face. Oh, for sure. Because uh, one's a lot easier to clean up. And I think at that point, I mean, it's kind of worth celebrating the photo finish. <laughs> I mean, Either way, I really think it's going it to make for an awkward photo. Yeah, one way or the other. I don't know, man. You're, uh, you're look, at, I look like one of those roller coaster photos. Where you're like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just surprised that somebody opened the door. I don't. Yeah. I don't know. This this is going on social media. I think it's, it's no, that'll get taken down. Okay. Yeah. No yeah, problem. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You get caught, a deal. picture of you jerking off. That gets taken down. Yeah, for sure. Every time. Yeah, yeah. that was my profile picture. I guess that. I guess that one lady did that profile did shit herself at a at a hair salon place. Oh, that was bad. It went viral. That went viral. That went way viral. It, it sure mm-hmm. did. So yeah, yeah. I'm still sticking with it. They, you're at Walmart. They sell underwear there. It it happens. To all of us. Yeah, but eventually. you got to get out of there and go get True. that underwear. Yeah, just throw the underwear away and then go commando for a couple of aisles. And if then it's dec- that bad, if you're it's that bad, throw you're throwing more away. than your underwear away. I mean, this is bad. <laughs> that this might is be pants. This is pants material. Borderline I, socks. I mean, yeah, you it, may have to toss the socks. Just take all the toilet paper, turn it into a toga party through Walmart, and then there just keep go. go shopping. And it, it's okay, yeah, man. A one ply toga party. That's right. That sounds, like, oh, <laughs> that sounds like my kind of toga party. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, it does. All right. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for tuning in to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. JP, you've been excellent the last couple of weeks, Man, buddy. I sure appreciate you having me on as Absolutely. much as you have, and Absolutely. I can't wait to come back. You uh, will. Yep. Uh, and we've kind of talked about it. It's it's kind of going to be a little bit of a rotation. It's it's nice because JP is homeless and doesn't work very much, so it works out. He gets to and I live three minutes from here now. Do you really? Yeah, man. Fucking A. It so it's three pretty minutes con- to get here. Pretty convenient. Uh, and I know that uh, eventually Derek's going to be gone. On, uh, for baseball and so we're, we are we're going to have the a lot of the same guys jeremy is already interested in coming back and doing a couple awesome. of shows before too long so we just want to give him some time and then also have some new comedians like next week uh we're going to have uh mike baldwin on he's a traveling stand-up comedian i think he mainly goes between kansas City and wichita for the most part no, he, no, goes he, goes oh, he goes he's, everywhere he goes Ooh. everywhere he goes everywhere well, all right. Well, we'll see. Uh, slumpkin after slumpkin after <laughs> slumpkin. slumpkin. That's right. He's <laughs> fucking hilarious. Yeah. yeah, he's a great dude, too. But we'll have him on next week, so uh, can't wait for that. But, guys, uh, thank you guys so much for continuing to, to share this podcast. Me and JP are seriously trying to talk Derek into doing a recording of the LAD. But oh, we got to do it. We got to do dude. it, bro. Come on. I'm putting you on the spot. We're going to put you in the studio. Studio and everything. We're going to lay down the track. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. It'll be great. We'll talk him into it. I know, hopefully. Uh, but thank you guys so much for sharing that TikTok and commenting. That helps us out a lot. That helps us grow. we got a ton of new listeners. So if this is your very first time listening to the show, hope you had a great time. I'm not black. Uh, he's not. <laughs> or muscular, apparently. <laughs> or straight. <laughs> or straight. That's right. Uh, but thank you guys so much. Keep on doing it. And as we always like to say, uh, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us... Uh, we hope you wake up to Scotty giving you a blowjob. And right after you sw- he swallows your load, you have to listen to him babble on about snowboard binding <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like us, you tell your enemy. And until next time, guys, showbiz pizza, where a kid can be a kid. <laughs> until next time, keep laughing, asshole. Fuck you, Derek. We will see you later. <laughs> Take care. <laughs>